Would you like to make real impact with your research, become an authority in your field and maybe get tenure? Well, getting papers to be highly cited is the key. But getting papers to really good journals and getting them highly cited is very, very difficult. You have to stand out from the crowd of literally hundreds of thousands of other papers being published every single month. The good news, though, is that there is a simple process that if you use it, will completely explode your citations. I used it myself to get 91 citations every single year on average on my publications while actually working part-time and for the last three years not even being employed at a university because I've also used it at Academic English Now that I run where we've helped over 460 PhD students and researchers to get their papers to be highly cited. So in this video, I'm going to show you five easy steps that are guaranteed to explode your citations and get you into high impact journals so that you can become an authority in your field and get tenure. And these five steps will also work if you find academic writing difficult or if you've had your papers rejected before. Let's look at the first step. It's critical for selecting impactful topics and getting your papers to be highly cited. And it's got everything to do with lemmings. You see, every three years or so, there is a massive population boom among lemmings. So to find greener pastures, a large group of lemmings will typically set off in a new direction. And all the lemmings in that group will just follow the crowd, even if it means falling off a cliff or drowning in a river. And it's very similar to the research world, actually, because every few years, a, a researcher comes up with a really innovative idea or a topic that has never been done before. And just like lemmings, other scientists start flocking to that idea. And before you know it, everyone in that narrow niche is doing basically the same thing and publishing papers on the same topic. And just like lemmings, many of these papers will die a fast death and never get many citations. So don't be like a lemming. Don't follow the research crowd, be different. But the question is, how do you do this? Well, this brings me to, this, to my second point. And to illustrate this, let me tell you a story of Tu Yuyu, a scientist from China who discovered a drug for malaria that saved 200 million lives. How? In 1969, Tu Yuyu was appointed the head of a project that was designated to find cure for malaria. At that point, over 240,000 uh, compounds had already been tried and failed to treat malaria. And instead of following the scientific crowd of lemmings, Tu Yuyu did something different. She started to study a traditional Chinese medical text going back hundreds and thousands of years. And finally, in one of them from 400 AD, she came across a reference to wormwood, which at the time was used to treat intermittent fevers, which are a symptom of malaria. To cut the long story short, uh, the active component that they discovered from wormwood called artemisinin was then used to develop a drug used to treat 200 million malaria victims. And to Yu Yu also got the Nobel Prize all because she dared to look outside of her own discipline. So to make real impact and get your papers to high impact journals, get them to be highly cited, look for ideas in other fields. You are likely to find research ideas and problems and solutions that nobody else in your discipline has ever dreamed of existing. Getting research ideas from other disciplines will allow you to discover completely unexplored gaps in research, which is another super powerful hack for getting your papers into those highly high impact journals and getting them to be cited a lot. Imagine the research in your discipline is like a big field. And when you walk around that field, you want to notice holes in that field. These are places where no research has been done. Some of these holes will be very small and not really worth exploring. 
some of these halls will have crowds of scientists already around them. Remember the lemmings? But some will be so big and so deep, you won't be able to see the bottom of that hole. And you won't be able to see any scientists around it either. That's where you know you found a truly unexplored gap that you want to tap in. And when you do, your papers will become really highly cited. Like this paper of mine, which has been cited 126 times. So now that you've got a highly innovative paper, you really need to get it to the masses. Because 90% of all papers are published behind paywalls and hundreds of thousands of scientists around the world don't have access to these papers and journals because the universities don't have the money to pay the hefty fees that the journals charge. So by publishing a paper in a traditional journal, even a high impact one, you're losing out on literally hundreds of citations every single year. So what is the solution? Find open access journals. Some might ask for a fee to make your paper open access, but there are also plenty of Scopus Index journals that are completely free and don't charge anything for open access. But even if they do charge, in the long run, it's really worth paying that fee for your paper to be open access. Because in my experience, my four most cited papers are all open access. The strategies so far are guaranteed to get you into high impact journals and give you more citations. But if you want to beat everyone else in the citation game, you need to do what most researchers are not willing to do. You need to promote your research. This is really how my papers managed to get 91 citations on average every single year, even though for the last three years I haven't even been working in academia. So I went on podcasts to talk about my research. I made YouTube videos about it. I posted on social media. If you truly care about your research and have impactful findings, it is really your obligation to promote it to as many people as possible. Trust me, it will boost your citations like nothing else and it will turn you into an absolute authority in your field. So pick one of your papers right now and start promoting it today. Now, will having amazing topics and not following the lemming crowds of other scientists get you to high impact journals every single time? Well, probably not. What you really need is a proven system that's guaranteed to give you three or more publications every single year. That's the way you will become an authority and get tenure. And in this video, I show you a proven system like that, that's completely guaranteed to give you three or more papers every single year. And we've implemented it with hundreds of other PhD students and researchers. So watch this video next if you want to publish regularly in top journals.